Hello, my name is Tony Prednall. I'm Professor of Computer Science at the University of Nottingham, where I work in the Computer Vision Laboratory. Since around 2007, members of the lab have been working on problems in plant image analysis and plant phenotyping. In the early days, we used what are now considered to be classic computer vision approaches. We used EM segmentation and level sets to identify plant components and separate the plant from the background. We used particle filters and snakes to track moving objects through immune sequences. And we produced a set of uh, software tools based on those methods to use to, to address different problems. Since around 2016, uh, that's changed. We now almost exclusively use convolutional neural nets to address the problems we're interested in. These are an example of deep supervised machine learning. Deep because they learn which features of the image they need to solve the problem and how to solve the problem with those features simultaneously. And supervised because they need to be trained. The general workflow for these things is to take some images, annotate them with the output you would like to get from those images, and then design your network, train your network to associate input and output, test it and deploy it. In this video, I will describe two of the methods that we've developed based on that approach. These are, a, <coughs> these are modern versions of two of our now classic tools, RootTrack and RootNav. RootTrack looks at segmenting X-ray images of plant roots grown in soil to identify the roots. RootNav takes colour images of plant roots grown hydroponically on blue growth paper and both pull out descriptions of the root system architecture from them. I'll talk a little bit about the problems that are faced when trying to do these two jobs and show some results that we've got and end by talking about the resources that you need if you want to start using convolutional neural nets in this way. Thank you.